you're live. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Games Meister with me, the Games Meister, the expert, the champion, the king of all games, the one who shows you how to do those bits in games on which you are stuck. The way it works is this. In each Games Meister episode, a member of our upstanding PlayStation Access community sends us a message with a difficult part of a game on which they just can't get past. Maybe it's a boss. Maybe it's a time in a race. Whatever it is, the Games Meister has you covered. I am an expert at all games and I will show you how it's done. The person I will be helping today is about to send us their message now. Hi Games Meister. You've caught me trying to calm down and collect myself so I don't chuck my dual sense out the window and distress my poor two dogs who are both recovering from surgery any more than they already are. I've also been feeling a bit poorly, so I decide a nice chill day in bed, mindlessly working towards my Final Fantasy X plat is in order. And then I remembered why I put the game on pause to begin with. Chocobo racing against the trainer to complete my celestial weapon collection. Blitzball? Absolutely, give me a Blitzball game any day of the week. Literally dodging hundreds of lightning bolts in a row. Child's play. Heck, I'll even catch as many butterflies as you want me to, but getting a negative time and not getting hit by every single bird seems to be my downfall. And to add insult to injury, I definitely did it in the original PlayStation 2 version. Help me, Games Meister. You're my only hope. And if you don't do it for me, do it for the dogs. Heck. Enjoyed your five minutes of fame there, did you, Emma? Blimey! I thought we were going to be here all day. So you want me to do the Chocobo, the Catcher Chocobo, the notorious Catcher Chocobo in Final Fantasy X in under zero seconds. 81 seconds faster than how long it took you to ask me to do it for you. Ah, blimey. Well, thankfully for you, Emma... I am a kind and brilliant gamer. And because I love Final Fantasy X so much, I will show you how to do Catch a Chocobo in under zero seconds. Not for you or your dogs, but for my own pride. Because I tell you now, there is no way I'm going to fail this. I am a Final Fantasy X Master! Okay, I have beaten all of the Dark Aeons, and I have beaten Penance, and I am gonna absolutely waltz through this, no problem, because I am the Games Meister, and that is what I do. So, to the uninitiated, Final Fantasy X is a wonderful game, originally on PS2, uh, and to unlock the secret untapped potential of each character's celestial weapons you need to find two items there are various mini games you need to do for this lots of them notoriously difficult as emma alluded to in her very long video essay so dodging 200 lightning bolts in a row on the thunder planes that really irritating butterfly mini game in macalania woods but i think the most notoriously difficult one of all is this one. It's to earn the Sun Sigil, which is one of the items you need to unlock the power of Tidus's celestial weapon. To unlock the Sun Sigil, you need to complete this Chocobo Racing mini game in under zero seconds. 
And you might be thinking to yourself, under zero seconds, how on earth does that work? Well, I'll tell you. There are balloons and there are birds on this track. Every balloon you collect takes three seconds off your time. Every bird that hits you adds three seconds back on. So the idea is collect the balloons, don't get hit by the birds, finish the race, win. And it is very, very difficult. But not for me. I am the game's meister. So the first thing you want to do uh, is prepare a save. Noobs and people who have uh, come to this game not prepared will probably be seeing this save point a lot. You'll be loading your game from here many a time. It's right in the middle of the calm lands. You just want to hop across here to the, to the Chocobo Trainer. The Chocobo Trainer, I should say. Sorry to pronounce it officially. Um, hello, everybody in the chat. I can see lots of ha 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 ha's. Lovely Final Fantasy X reference there. Thank you very much. Emma Clark, I've seen in the chat as well. I hope you're paying attention, Emma. I'm about to show you how it's done. Okay, and you can thank me later. So, you want to select, let me train a chocobo. And then... You need to complete all these courses before, and you unlock Catch a Chocobo down here. Another thing that you will get very used to is this music. This music will become locked in your soul. You select Catch a Chocobo. Ready? Now, it's very simple. Okay. Dodge the birds, collect the balloons. Watch this. I'm going to show you how it's done. Here we go. Now, the controls are, you know, it's like a bit of getting used to, but really it's just, you know, left and right. You just want to gently nudge. And what you can see there is what I've done is I've missed a few of the balloons just to make it exciting and I failed to get around that corner particularly well. Now, here come the birds. Stick to the edges. Don't get hit by them. You don't want to let the trainer get all the balloons either, which I've done there. You want to dodge. You want to be dodging though, so... Get a, good, uh, get a good line, sort of like that. Stick to the edges. Don't get hit by the birds. I have done there. Again, just a little trial run so you can get a sort of feel for how difficult the controls can be when you're just starting out. I collected three balloons there and got hit by three birds. Um, so, you know, it's it can be difficult. And as I like to say on Games Meister, I'm not just going to, you know, you're not just going to come here and see that inauthentic experience you get maybe in other places on the internet where you can type in how to do, how to do, how to do the thing, how to do the catch a chocolate in under zero seconds. You just get told, I'm going to take you through the authentic process. Okay. So my time here is at 40.2 40, 40 seconds. And we were aiming for zero. So, there's some work to be done. <clears throat> but I'm going to show you now. I'm going to show you now. I'm going to show you now the actual way to do it. Pay attention, Emma. Another good thing to do. Here's tip number two. Is you can use the trainer sort of like as a shield... As you can see there, I've been hit by the bird, but so was the trainer, and I've been hit by the bird there again and again. And again. Right, so, another lesson, don't let the trainer get ahead of you. You you use the trainer, you can use the trainer sort of like a shield, so that the trainer is drawing the aggro of the birds. 
because otherwise what can happen is what's just happened there and I've been hit by eight birds and four balloons. So I think I'm actually going to get 12 seconds added on to my time there. Whereas what I was looking for was to get 49.1 seconds taken off. So a little bit, a little bit behind what we were, what we were trying for there. A little bit behind. But as I said, this is going to be the authentic experience, okay? So you want to start with a little nudge to the right to get Tidus right in line with that balloon. So I've got in front of the trainer there. Just nick those first balloons. And you're going to miss that one. And I'm going to muck up the corner again. On purpose. You can also try some zigzagging. Now, the zigzag, if anyone watched my uh, previous expert stream when I, when I showed Jack how to defeat the Tower Knight in, in the Demon Souls PS5 remake, zigzagging was key. You, you want to sort of, um, you know, strike a good balance between zigzagging and not zigzag zigzagging too much. Because if you do too much zigzagging obviously you're not going to be taking the optimum racing line along the route and you're not going to get zero seconds so 39.8 seconds there right the next lesson, Emma. Josh Bot says, "Why is your best time 9.9? .9? Because this is I had to I was I had to access an old save, didn't I, Josh? From from before I'd actually done it because I wanted to show you what it's like when you when you do it for the first time. I can see you trying to catch me out. The game's why has not done this before. You're thinking wrong. I have." So, get in front of the trainer there. Do what I say and not what I do. All right? Get in front of the trainer at the start. Don't let the trainer get all of the balloons. You want to get some... See, the birds are going for the trainer there. We've got him... Oh. oh my god. So, Emma, pay attention. I'm sure you're aware of this, but you, the idea is to not get as hit is to not get hit by more birds than the amount of balloons you've collected. In fact, I've got a bit of a minus one goal difference there, you can see, between balloons and birds. Really, you're looking for like a plus 13 sort of goal difference. If you can get a plus 13 goal difference and finish the race in 39 seconds or fewer, then you're on track. So I've taken about four or five seconds too long to finish it. I have collected about eight fewer balloons and really ideally I should have done and I've been hit by about six more birds than is ideal but I want you to know I want you to see all of the pitfalls and all of the traps it's been 15 minutes I hope you've I hope you're noting it down Emma because this time because this time Oh, it's all coming back to me now. One more time. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for you. Here we go, Emma. Oh, the music. 
See, the trainer's got all of those. Not a good start. You want a fast sort of like, you want to hit the apex of that corner. And then I went quite wide there. The trainer's taken that one for me. This is where it can start to be brought. Oh my god. Look at that bird just waiting. What's he doing? Emma might say, if, you know, and the controls on this aren't as simple as you might think either. It's not just left and right controls of the bird. The bird, the chocobo, moves forward of its own volition. And you have to nudge it left and right with, with the analog stick. <laughs> says everybody in the chat. Well, we wouldn't be laughing if you were doing this. Okay. Some uh, expert expert advice from uh, Becky Barlow in the chat. There it says, "Don't forget to not hit the birds and zigzag." In exactly. Adam Manuel says, "I hated this mini game." Yeah, you know, lots lots of them, lots of the mini games of Final Fantasy X are tough when you're going for all of the sigils to unlock all of the latent powers of the celestial weapons as i mentioned before dodging 200 lightning bolts in a row on the thunder plains it's no joke no i don't quit one more time <laughs> you'll have you'll have that in your head so that, that flurry there, irritating seagulls. Why are you supposed to get the balloons when the birds fly right into them? Emma would say as she struggles and reaches a point of despair. Such is that she could see no possible way, not the wall, of actually getting through it. Oh, God, I've got more warbirds than I've collected balloons again. How's it trying to gain so many balloons? I've done this! I've literally done this before! I've done this already! I shouldn't have to be here proving myself to anyone! Emma might say, because she's already done it on PS2, as she said in her video. And that is a cruel, that's a cruel quirk of fate, isn't it? When you do it all on PS2, but there were no trophies around back in those days so there's you don't have a receipt of accomplishment do you that's what trophies are you know you say you've done something it's like going to return an item isn't it this jumper's too big oh have you got the receipt yeah i did i defeated dark bahama and penance on ps2 have you got the receipt no you have to do it again, don't you, on PS4 or PS5. I'm playing this one on PS5. Backwards compatibility. One more time. Right, Emma. I've been showing you lots. I've, I'm sure you're aware of the frustrations that I have authentically been portraying. But now it's time to get real. The Games Meister has expertly dodged all of the balloons there. 
And I'm going to dodge all of these birds as well. Ready? There's all of those dodge. That initial flurry, getting the trainer hit on those, important. Now, I was, I was going right. Oh, oh that! Three in a row! What is... Oh, the music. Oh, God. Has he finished yet? I thought he just finished. My green screen's come off my neck. Wait a second whilst I just repair this. Crying out loud. Right. How's a trainer getting such a good goal difference? I've got minus three goal difference again. <laughs> One more time. God. Hit the apex on that corner. And then what you want to do is swing out right just as the birds come in. <coughs> yeah, and then they do that weird thing where they're like... So we, we dodge, duck and weave. And get the balloon. D yep. I got that one. Honestly, what's the hit detection like on these balloons? You have to be within like negative space of them to collect them. Whereas the birds have like a flipping five meter wingspan. Emma might say. God! I will do this. I will do this. I will do this. I will do it. Emma. And you will see. Oh, it's done because I'm the game's meister. If anyone is just joining us, I am, believe it or not, the game's meister. An expert in all games. And I'm here to help you complete those parts of games on which you are stuck. If you didn't catch the initial game's meister stream, then you missed me teaching Jack, an upstanding member of the PlayStation Access community, how to defeat the Tower Knight in Demon Souls. I showed him many strategies. And today, Emma Clark has messaged in with a long speech about how she did do the Chocobo catcher in under zero seconds on PS2, but hasn't done it on PS4. A likely story. Hmm. And so that's where we are right now. I, the game's meister, D-pad, says Domino. And Domino has uh, brought up a very important thing there. So far, I have been using the stick, the left stick, to control the chocobo. But what I'm going to do now is do what Domino suggested, and I was going to do it anyway. Is control it using the D-pad. If you mention the D-pad one more time, Domino, I'm going to ban you, Emma might say. Right, so there's D-pad. Here we are, D-pad time. As you can see, it's making all the difference. As we come in, we dodge those birds. And I dodge that balloon as well. And that balloon. So use the balloons like you would uh, those poles when you're going skiing. Don't do that. Obviously, I was joking. You want to collect the balloons. Really? You need about 13 balloons! And to be hit by no birds! God! <sighs> Two! Two! Balloons. 
Emma might say, in a particularly hard run. We will do this. You want to get as many of these as possible. Because those balloons at the start there, those are the balloons in which you have... Oh, I was dodging it! Those are the balloons where no birds come. So they're like flipping it free, aren't they? They're free! They're free to collect those ones. I was dodging that. Thank you, trainer, for taking those hits. I think I got about five balloons then. Eight balloons. See, eight balloons. Just five more needed. Two seconds quicker on the time. Six fewer birds hit. So, Emma, I hope you've been jotting all of this down. Use the D-pad if you want. It doesn't make any difference. It controls the same. Use the D-pad if you want. If you find it helps. It doesn't. But make sure what you really got to do, you need the head start on the trainer at the top. You need the head start. You need to collect these first five balloons. You need to get there before the trainer does. Here we go. I've missed that one. She's got two. I've got three of those. Not dis Oh, that's disastrous, though. You've got to hit the apex. It's hitting the apex with... I said this guy, those birds just flew right through her! God! I was on the side. Oh. Boy, where was that one going? Just. Oh my god. Right. More balloons that time. Dodge. Collect. Collect. Dodge. Back in. Dodge. Oh. Oh. I'll turn! D oh, I was going left! I was going the other way! Balloon. 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 Oh, no, no! If that bird comes and homes in on me! Yes. I've not done it. I've not done it. 
It wasn't even my best time. So once again, every balloon you collect deducts three seconds from your time. So if you get 13 balloons, that's 39 seconds off your time. Okay. So if you can get 13 balloons, finish in under 39 seconds and not get hit by the birds... That's how you do it. And I will show you that right now. Here we go. Oh, uh, she ran me off the track then. Absolutely diabolical. Oh, come off it. Sick. Don't run out of track. Got some balloons there. Got some balloons there, but got hit by too many birds. So we're going to get 21 seconds deducted off this time. So we're going to be looking at around 23.8, I think, for that. Yeah. <sighs> How are you doing, Emma Clark? I hope you're enjoying this tutorial. Lots of, uh, lots of keyboard experts in the chat, I see. Stick to the right side of the course, suggests Jedi Chimp. Well, I, <laughs> I will, uh, I will show you what happens if you stick to the right-hand uh, side of the track, and I'll use the D-pad so Domino's happy. Here we go, at Jedi Chimp's request. Oh god. Oh god. Don't come here. Don't! Oh, I swear they were not really touching me. We're getting some balloons here. Oh no. Oh come on. Right, Emma. You saw a good start then. Okay. So that's the kind of start you need to be aiming for. And I've not been able to replicate it this go. Get out to the side of those. Oh, too much. Oh, very happy! No! The trainer's off. The birds don't care about the trainer. All they care about is stopping you from having your fun. Oh, God. Give me strength. Right. Is Emma even in the chat anymore? The 
trader just got all of them? For God's sake. Oh, why, why have I gone this way? Don't go that way, okay? Don't do what I just did then. Pro tip. For lots of pro tips, watch back this stream and don't do most of the things that I've been doing. The Games Meister. Oh, the music as well. It becomes a part of you, doesn't it? And there's always one little bird at the end. And me. <sighs> Where is Emma? Have I taken too long? The disrespect. Look, I can see some sarcasm in the chat. And I don't know why... Why you think that's warranted, really. Look. You know, I give you... I give you raw gameplay. That's what you get on GamesMeister that you don't get on any of the other tip sites. You try typing Chocobo Catcher zero seconds into the internet. See what comes up. It won't be this. It'll be some airbrushed version of someone being like, Yeah, he just, you use the D-pad, you stick to the right-hand side of the track, you hit 13 uh, balloons, don't get hit by any birds, and you've done it, woo! No, that's not how it goes, is it? That's not, that's not truth. The Games Meister is all about truth and wisdom and expertise. One more time. This will be the time. Okay, Emma, are you ready? Here we go. So you miss that one. You let the trainer have those two. You get behind the trainer so the trainer gets that one and then you miss that balloon. And then you come around the corner and you get hit by the third bird that comes along making sure you're sort of quite a way behind the trainer now then you get hit by those then you miss all these balloons and get hit by a third bird and then you get one balloon and get hit by a fourth bird and then you curse the mini game for not having like a restart option built into it a lot maybe it does no That was a bad one. That was a bad one. And I'm just showing you, Emma, what can happen when you sort of, you get into a rhythm, you think, oh, I'm improving, I'm improving, I'm improving, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, then bang! Reality hits you like a bird. Like a homing bird out of nowhere. With its big, stupid, two wide wings of reality. Missed that one, damn. It's quite a good start otherwise. For God's sake. Oh. Oh. all gone very wrong on this run. Right, Emma. We've actually, we've actually got a double Games Meister request today. So I think I've only got another three minutes, which is good because I have, I have timed it to perfection where I've I've built up the drama and I've showed you all of the pitfalls. I've sh showed you how to get hit by all of the birds and how to collect enough balloons but still be a bit too slow. 
I've gone through the entire dramatic process very quickly. Because you could spend days, weeks trying to do this. But I, the Games Meister, about to show you for real now. Like, all pretenses dropped. This is it. The Games Meister doing the meistering. Okay. Emma, watch this. I love the music. Here we go. So that was just for the drama. There's going to be dramatic. There's going to be a dramatic comeback. So I've been hit by that one. The trainers take. So instead of doing it, what I've done there is not do it. Okay. Emma. What I hope I have done is imparted to you across these 45 minutes a great deal of wisdom. And sage advice. You know, we know to zigzag, but not zigzag too much. We know to use the D-pad if you think the D-pad helps. We know to get the balloons and don't get hit by the birds. Okay? No, I didn't fail, Danielle. I didn't fail. I've just show. I've done, I've done what it says on the title of the video, which is show you how to do this in 0.0 seconds. Or I've told you how to do it in 0.0 seconds and shown you a few of the ways that it could go wrong. You know, I'm not going to hold your hand through all of it. I'm the games meister. I'm busy. I've got lots to do. Including showing you this other message from another upstanding member of the PlayStation Access community who's stuck on another bit of a game. Why can't you lot just play games? Always coming to me to sort it out for you. Anyway, cut to VT. <laughs> Hello, Games Meister. I'm having trouble with the Hotshot Trophy in the game Outer Wilds just can't seem to land my spaceship on the sun station. Please can you help? And help you. Person whose name I've forgotten. <laughs> ah, thank you. Yes, Mickey. <laughs> the Games Meister knows all and has everything written down on a piece of paper. Mickey Saucepan, to give him his full name, would like to know how to land the spaceship. Would like to know how to land the spaceship in Outer Wilds, on the tiny, tiny little orbiting spaceship that's orbiting around the sun. Now, this is very tricky, but luckily for you, Mickey Saucepan, the Games Meister is here. And the Games Meister will show you. The first thing you want to do is, you've got to do, do all the, I'm assuming you've done the bit where you've got the flight codes and all of that stuff. So we're going to skip that. We're going to go straight to suiting up. Okay, that's important because you're going into space and then you want to buckle up and then you want to lift off. Now, what I'm going to do is show you, first of all, so you lift off, you find the sun. It's quite easy to spot. There it is. It's the big, you know, it's the sun. Don't, don't crash on the planet that you've just lifted off from. That's key. So you want to 
press L3 to lock onto the sun. Now you can match the velocity of the sun so you don't just fly straight into the big exploding nuclear explosion that the sun is. Now you can see just <laughs> The heck was that? Mickey Saucepan might say, as he foolishly forgets to look for space debris. Anyway, you match the velocity of the sun, like so. See? I'm matching the velocity of the sun. And then you want to wait. So we've matched the velocity of the sun now. We're not going to crash into the sun. Our hull is... Space. It is a tricky, tricky mistress. Isn't it, Mickey Saucepan? And I assume that's why. Oh, God, there's the sun. So when you fail, when you fail, I can feel the eyes of another games meister. Oh, yes. You arrogant fool. Oh, I'm sick of this. You arrogant fool. I'm sick and tired of hearing this every time. You think you can show you these people how to... Give me that remote. You Give it think, here. You think you're Give so me. good. You do it then. I will. I'm not going to crash into the sun. And the moon, a bit of debris. You crash into a moon, you fool. You fool. You foolish man. You foolish head. I... I'm the game's meister. We'll see And about I'm going to show you we'll see how to do this level. So you go up the lift by pressing square. You go into the blue goo and get sucked up into the ship. Like so. You get your suit on because you can't fly without your suit on and you get in the chair. Now, game's meister, you're an idiot. <laughs> so I'm going to show you. You're also the game's meister. So don't, don't be, you know, we're in this together. We're in this together. And I will I will share in your successes, if indeed you succeed. I'm going to do better in, than you, not Will. not in your failures. We'll see, won't we? And now you've got the one thing you, you foolishly did forgot to do, that's the moon that you crashed into, was level your... I'm just taking those pictures because that's sometimes what you want to do when you're flying. Get some pictures. So you you can take some snapshots and then you can put that away. And then you want to level yourself so that you're facing the orbit of the spinny thing that we're trying to land on. Okay? Pay attention, Mickey. I hope you're noting all of this down. Yeah. I, of course, don't need to because I already have obviously mastered everything. Yeah, games master. Meister. You are not. Meister. You are the games meister. <laughs> So what you want to do is you want to get in close. You see that spinny thing? We've got it on. There oh, it is. There's a snapshot. That's what you've got to land on. That tiny, tiny little ship. Oh, my good. And you don't want to overshoot it because if you overshoot it, you will get pulled into the sun's gravity. You will. Which is not ideal. It's not ideal. No. And you want to level your velocity so that doesn't happen. And pull out. And pull out. Like so. We're going to go backwards, away from the sun, so that we don't get sucked in. But the sun is a tricky mistress with lots of pulls. So you have to keep on, keep on keeping on. And then we wait for the little thing. It's coming back. Oh, my goodness. There it is. And now we need to turn. There we go. And now we're going to go in. We're going to go in and follow it round. Like so. So pay attention to this, Mickey. Whilst velocity is Because you don't want to fly into the sun. No. Because it's hot and will burn you and your ship to a crisp. Yes. But that thing is quite fast. And it may have overtaken me, but that's okay, because I can pull away, pull out again, pull away from the, the sun. It shall not take me. It shall not take me, and it shall not take you, Mickey Saucepan. That's what you should say. 
Oh dear. Oh dear. I think, I think you've had, you've had your go and you should g give that to me. I hope you also cleaned up your room in uh, Gamesmeister Manor this morning. No, I did before not. Before you came out here. No, I did not. Swanning it's my in, room. Swanning into this stream thinking you know how to land the ship on the other ship in our world, but you clearly don't. It's my room and I will keep it how I like it. You talk to me about my room. Have you seen your desk in Games Meister HQ? Have you seen it? Empty bottles everywhere. Debris everywhere. Chewed gum stuck to the underside. The underbelly of the desk. Filth. Filthy. Right. So you suit up, Mickey, as I and <laughs> other Games Meister have shown you twice now. Yes. You may call me Games Master. Games Master? <laughs> Games yes. Meister and Games Master. <laughs> Games Master. <laughs> right, so, <laughs> so you lift off using R2. I'm sure you know that, Mickey. I'm sure you know how to, you know, fly around. So the mistake I made was obviously I wasn't paying attention to where the other celestial bodies were. It's a mistake Mickey Saucepan will have made a lot, let's be honest. Yeah, right, so. definitely. Let's you know, all, yeah, let's all laugh at Mickey not, it's, Saucepan. It's not our fault. It's Mickey no. Saucepan that's the fault. So you want to lock on match velocity. You hold X to match the velocity. And then maybe you want to press L1 to balance so it's going straight across the sun as well. And you can turn with L1. Yes. Oh. Oh, be careful. Match velocity. Match velocity! velocity Match the velocity! <gasps> Fly away! Oh, oh for flip! Okay. Flip it right, over here. do it then if you're so clever. I will do it because I am so clever. And I'm the games master and I will show you how this is done. For we are the games meisters. And we have other games meisters rolling around the office. Fools that they are as well. Yeah, they wouldn't be able to do this. No, they definitely wouldn't. No. You definitely pick the correct games, Meister, to show you how to do the Final Fantasy X chocobo catching race. Well, they would or wouldn't. They did. They picked the correct one. Oh. I showed them. You did. You showed them very well, actually. Mm -hmm. But this, dire, terrible. I'm the only one that can do this. So we go up and we turn across to find the sun. And there it is. And we don't need to press anything because we're just sailing, sailing, and then I'm going to thrust to go forward. You're going to crash. I do what I want. It's fine. I'm the games master. Meister. And then I turn my <laughs> ship so that matches the right Very place. legally distinct we are. <laughs> <laughs> and then, okay, so we've got it so it's going straight across. And we're going to gently go forward. We're going to match velocity so we don't go too far forward. That's you can turn the, the headlights on Headlights off. off. You don't really need headlights when the sun's there, to be fair, do no, you? No, it's quite bright. It's quite bright. So you want to keep it in that sweet spot between 4,000 kilometres and 3,500 kilometres. Meters. Which is not that. No, that is that. Nearly. Now it is. Okay, and then we're going to go forwards and we're going to hard oh. this way. And we're going to go. Into the sun. Yeah, right into the sun. And that's what Mickey Saucepan is doing and that he shouldn't do. No. Because you should be going round. Yeah, and I'm going to show you now. I'm going to show you now, Mickey Saucepan, yeah. after all of those goes. Yeah. After all of those goes, I'm now going to show you actually how to do it. Which one is Rob, says Adam Lillis. Neither of us are Rob. We're the Games Meisters. We are the Game Meisters. We are, all the, we are the race of Games Meisters. <laughs> yes, the... Uh, the bodiless. Yes. Oh, my head stump's just getting a bit long. Let me just took that. <laughs> <laughs> Cosmic energy has birthed us for one purpose and one purpose alone. Yes. To show all of you noobs how to be noobs no longer. Oh, I need to go to the, the stump barber. The stump barber? Yeah, my stump's too long. I'm just ch trimming. <laughs> trimming. Right. So a nice take off. Stephen Fisher says, wow, I thought it couldn't get any worse than Rob. Well, you know, Mickey Saucepan is worse than whoever this Rob is. Mickey Saucepan is, is, is in need of help. And that's what we're here to do, to help. To show him how amazing we are. Right. So I hope you've been writing all this down, Mickey Saucepan. Yeah. And Emma as well. I hope you're... Yeah. I hope you were pleased. Yeah. With what I showed you earlier. Yeah. 
Okay, he, you, uh, this I'm is really good. A bit, I'm so flying a bit close to the sun that's here. That's right, it's a hard turn now. Yeah, 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 I'm flying too close to the sun, that's what yeah. I've done there, and I've been burned alive. But that's okay, because now they know not to do that. And now I will show them. We've shown them many times. <laughs> We've shown them many times. What not to do there. And there's our life flashing before our eyes yeah. of the sun. It's Mickey's fault, says yeah. D3 Mystic, and that is correct. <gasps> Who gasped? Did you gasp? Mm -mm. Here we go. So we go in. Maluk7 says, have you tried zigzagging? Yeah, I don't think zigzagging is just a universal trick you can use on all games. No. Come on. Not across the universe either, which is where we are. Yeah, you can use it for the Tower Knight, and you can use it a little bit in Chocobo Catcher. I don't think zigzagging is of much use when you're trying to land one ship on another ship that's really close to a, a burning star. Yeah. Not so much. Look, here's some zigzagging. Oh, it doesn't work the same. It's actually terrible. It's a terrible suggestion. That's why we're the games meisters. Is Mickey Saucepan in the chat? I hope so. Better be. And we should say as well, if you too are struggling with a boss or a specific level or a time trial, anything really, if you're stuck and you just can't do it, then feel free to upload a video message or it doesn't have to be a video message if you don't want to but just use the hashtag gamesmeister either in the comment section on youtube or on social media and there could be a chance that the gamesmeister will help you as well this is good gamesmeister ah! that's not so good no that's what you want though you want to be able to you see got it, it close yeah you got it close i did and that's that's how you want to get close oh so, yes, you want to spin, you want to land, you've got to get it in your sights. Oh, it's the person gasping when they awaken, isn't it? <laughs> we know that, obviously, yeah. though, from being meisters of that's, this game. That's what Mickey Saucepan has been saying. Come on, Games Meister, you've got to show them how it's done now. I will. How confident are you feeling? Very. Very? 10 out of 10 confident. Yeah, I'm always confident. He knows what he's doing. Even though it doesn't show sometimes. But it's all in aid of teaching you. Well, you know what they say is that failure is the best teacher. It's true. And with that in mind, I think I'm probably the greatest teacher that has ever existed. Mm, I don't know. I am sat here. World. Oh, you're getting a good look at that sun. Yeah. Remember, Mickey Saucepan, this is what you're aiming for. The sun. The sun. The big... Easily missed. Why am I flying away from it now? Just want to match the velocity. You do it nice and calm. Yes, so very ve good. So velocity is matched. So now we're going to wait. So you can hold L1 and you can sort of roll. Oh. And doing this, you can... You want to try and match... The motion of your doodah there. Oh, the why, why am I? I've matched the velocity of the sun. You have ma and matched. And then you the press forward. The sun. So and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna duck under the sun. I said I'm just oh. gonna duck under the sun. I said I'm just gonna duck under the sun. And the sun's gravity has pulled you in has. and burned you along. It has. But now we respawn. That's science. See how good a game this is. You can back any yeah. time. Here we go. Right. So you, uh, we've got this bit down. You go up the lift. You go across the wood. You get into the blue rings. Like a jellyfish's undulating bit. You pick on your suit. You buckle up. You go up into the sky by pressing R2. Turn slightly to the left. You're welcome, and Mickey Saucepan. James Hobson says, Mr. Thompson at my secondary school was the best teacher. And I can't tell whether that is James Hobson being very complimentary of Mr. Thompson or not so complimentary of Mr. Yeah, Thompson. Yeah, bit of a worrying one, that. Okay. There's the sun. Is what Mickey Saucepan would say. Magic. 
match the velocity because I'm going wild to show you you can well, overshoot eight, eight it. kilometers out well it's better to overshoot than to than to undershoot and it's get true. and get burned alive that's what they say and then we get a bit closer but not too fast because of dragon says failure is but a stepping stone on the path to success a very wise words okay this is that's too far away now see it looks ideal but it's not that's too far to begin our our uh, approach yeah so now we have velocity match with the sun so we can hang out for a little bit before getting a little bit closer so we're gonna get a little bit closer and then match velocity again oh oh I don't know what that was is what Mickey Saucer would say but I do okay here it is so we're getting we're getting sucked in a little bit this is good though so now games Meister. there we go hard, there it is hard hard following this that's that's what you're aiming to land on yes and you want to get close to it and then press the toggly button that toggles it on so you can just skim Follow the edge the of the sun. Follow the sun's horizon. That's some very skim, skimming there. Skim and the edge of the sun. I think you should have another go, Gamesmeister. <gasps> you think Gamesmeister? Yeah. Okay. The Gamesmeister is just one, just one being with many forms. It's true. It's like Ratatoskir in the, the world tree. A bit like that. But with less hair. Yeah, with less hair. And more glasses. A bit, little bit more rage and a lot more gaming prowess it's true it's like ratatoska if every squirrel were a gaming master yes a gaming meister some might say if they were german which we are not no but we are meisters we are okay so we're approaching the sun and i don't need to press my thruster anymore because that would just send me further into the sky now I can lock on, turn it into my sights. You could just go straight for it. That's what I would do. But I'm going to follow it around a little bit. Because I'm a bit high up right now, so we're going to press the downwards one. Whoa, and I've overshot it, and that's what you don't do. I have heard from somewhere deep in my Meister brain that you can, if you get it just right, you can match the velocity of the spaceship too. You can, you can, which I have done before. Uh, that naturally, both of us have. We are one. So if one of us has done it, we've all done it. It's true. Okay. Stephen Fisher says, at least there are no birds in space. That is correct. There are no balloons either, though, to help you on your way. Ooh, and then we've gone overshot. But it was nice to see it a bit closer, wasn't it? Yeah, we're just doing a tour of the sun. Yeah, this is what the sun This is like. just uh, a recce. So you can, you know, tip number one, really, we've, we've gone straight in there with expert level docking. Yeah, it's true. Um, what you could also do is just spend a while. Getting your bearings. Take some pictures, look. Making sure that there are no rogue moons around. Take some pictures. And then, yeah, and then you come in, you get to your, your mileage, and you go, and then you follow this little guy. Go on. You're going to hit it. You're going to get him. You're going to get him. You're going to get him. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, that was amazing, Gamesmeister. Well done. Where's our little guy gone? There it is. Okay. That was close. That was close. That was close. Now we've got to match our velocity again. Go back in. And we're going to wait for it to come around. We're going to be a bit calmer this time. <sighs> a bit calmer on the approach. I've not seen Mickey Saucepan in the chat yet. Are you there, Mickey? Maybe Mickey Saucepan is a VOD squatter. Maybe. Okay, we're going to get to that sweet spot. So it's the lining up of the max velocity matching. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here, here we go. Is. Here we go. This is looking good. This okay. is looking good. And now we're going to go in. <gasps> no! Oh, oh! Libby, libby, libby. 
Libby, Libby, Libby. Oh, here you go, right, Games yeah. Meister. <clears throat> that was intense. Yep. Is what Mickey Saucer was saying. Mm -hmm. We, however, are not affected by... Failure. By failure, the intensity of a moment. It no. Just, we, uh, you know, it's all, it's, all, it's all for you guys. We are an emotionless being. It's true, we have no emotions. Rage may fuel us, but it does not govern us. Any emotion you see coming from the Games Meister is just what we think will be palatable to a human audience. Yeah, how they would feel. Yeah. We take you through an authentic... An authentic gaming experience. That's it's what true. you get here. You've always said that, Games Meister. Yeah, it's true. Failure is the best teacher. Every defeat makes you wiser. It's those true. those were the Games Meister's wise words from the Demon Soul stream, and it's very true. Every defeat, every failure makes you wiser, and that is why we, we are so wise. the Games Meister, are so wise. So very wise. Did I Tim says why does why does Ash have Austin Powers glasses? Who is Ash for one? I am the Games Meister. And who is Austin Powers for another? These are my glasses. Austin Powers is a more millennial thing, I think, Games Meister. Millennial? Yeah. Oh, I have never heard of such a thing. I only know games. I spend no time with pop culture. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from games. Apart from games. Of course, naturally. Match the velocity. I'm a bit far out, so I'm going to do a little rolly spin. I would like to make it so that it's... So that it is going sort of like directly Ooh, across. You're going a vertical axis. Yeah, vertical. Ooh. You might be able to get a nice little horizon skimmer there. Which is the technical term for it, please. Yeah. So it's going to come in. Oh, you're a bit close. Yeah. You're getting sucked in the gravity. Away! 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 <laughs> I was pressing the thrusters. Oh, have another go, Games Meister. I will. You know what you're doing. We know what we're doing. As a hive mind. We're all hairless because we all connect through the mind. Yes. And they would get in the way otherwise. Yes. The glasses allow us to see into each other's frontal lobe. And share all of our... cumulative video gaming mastery and knowledge. It could not fit in one brain, let's no, be real. No, no. Right. So, you put the suit on. <laughs> Did you lose the suit then? No, 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 no. You would never, you would never. I was just having a little look around the spaceship, because sometimes you can do that for a little breather. If you've been failing at a task many times in a row, another good tip is to just take a little break. Take a little break, have a breather, make a cup of tea, go for a short walk, clear your head, and then, then I'm going to skip all of those parts because... I'm the games master, I don't need to do them. And then you can return to the task. Refreshed, renewed. And you'll often find that you do it. You just go straight in. First time after coming back from such a break. And that's what I'm about to show you now. Oh, games master, I'm looking forward to it. Don't forget your lock on. Very nice. There it is. Oh my goodness, he's gone straight in. He's gone straight in. There it is. He's there gone it straight is. in! And there it is! Ooh. That was the sound of my ship getting singed. <laughs> ship! Game Meister. Hand it over. <gasps> okay, here we go. Up the lift. Prepared, facing the correct way. Across the gang plank, as it is known in space. Mm -hmm. Up the blue jellyfish fronds. <laughs> the jellyfish fronds, official, official space terminology there. Yep. Into the seat, buckled up and shot off into the sky. And then turned slightly to find the sun. <laughs> We've got people in the comments explaining what Austin Powers is to people in the comments who don't know what it is. <laughs> We've got a poll up who says who will make the landing, Games Meister or Games Meister. It's true, one of us will do it, for we are one. Emma Clark's been talking about Blitzball now. I love Blitzball. Hmm. 
Ooh. And then sometimes you just want to sit and think about it for a yeah, moment. Yeah, a little sit. Even when you're match velocity there, you can see you're still being pulled in inexorably. When the sun's gravity, here it comes. The sun is quite powerful, here is what it you comes. can remember at any yeah. given moment. This is good. <gasps> can you lock on? Can you lock on? Not yet. Go on. <gasps> match velocity. Oh, so close, so close, so close. Oh, and we've got an overshot, and we're going to go back in in a second. We're this is good, though. Realign. Then we'll just tilt slightly. There we go. Look at that thing. Perfect orbit around the sun. Which is what we're aiming to do, obviously. And will do. Yes. But we've got to show you how many ways and how easy it is to be sucked into this sun's orbit. Yeah. Because you need to be prepared for that when you're playing. I've got to rise a little bit. Now we want to match velocity because we're getting quite close. And there is the thingy, the doodad. There it is. Now it's going to go quite fast around you. But we can slingshot around the sun's gravity if we play it carefully. Good space piloting, Gamesmeister. Thank you, Gamesmeister. And now we're going to go back down, realign for the next go at trying to catch this, this thing. What should we call it? It's the doodad. Yeah, the USS doodad. Yes. Velocity okay. matched. Here it comes. Okay. Here, here we go. it comes. I'm gonna build up some speed. I'm gonna aim for it from the underneath, the underbelly. That is good. That oh, is good. That's that terrible. is good. That's too close to the yeah, sun. Yeah, that's how you get fried. Like Icarus. There you go. Makes me sickerous failure. Yeah. <laughs> but no, failure is good. Remember. Failure is good. Failure is good. This is the wisdom the games master is imparting right yeah, now. Yeah, and serious business. We go through this 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 illness, this sickness every time to show you exactly how not to do it, so that you may do it when you do. Yeah. Who wants to see just straight away how it's done when they ask, "How do I do it?" Not me. No one does. Not me. Well, you shouldn't if you do. You may think that that's what you want to see. But really, what you need, you need to be taught. It's like going on your first driving lesson and the stig mm. just turning up and saying, this is how you drive, and doing donuts around the car park in yeah. Morrison's. Oh, my God. And yeah. then saying, go on, then you do it. You're not going to be able to do that. First of all, you need to know how to find the biting point. We're showing you the biting point of Outer Wilds. And sometimes you miss the biting yeah, point. Yeah, sometimes you stall. When you stall the car, you go into the sun. There's no point teaching people how to be as good as we are straight off the bat. Exactly. It's just undoable. Yeah. It's not realistic. All right, Games Meister, you've got a good line up there. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, Games Meister. I've lost it. But you did show a really nice way of of, of looking at it yeah, yes that was good. yeah yeah calder says how do i learn without playing by watching the games meister we're showing you now we're teaching you now so much wisdom so much i think that bit in between respawns where the screen goes all funky mm -hmm. is like perfect for the games meister our our, our corporeal Heads look great. Yeah, it does. against that against that blue stuff. We are some good-looking heads, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Of the the games, most of high find. Yeah. The other two, not so much. Yeah, that's why we. That's why we don't put that's them. That's why we've we've taken up the yeah taken the reins. They're more like growths. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Every family has them. <laughs> Every family has a growth. <laughs> We should say, if you're just joining the stream, welcome to the Games Meister. 
with us, the Games Meister. And if you have a bit of a game that you're stuck on and you need some help, it can be anything, it can be a boss, it could be a particular, it could be a whole level, it could be a time trial, it could be a, a trophy that's really troubling you. Send us a message on social media using the hashtag GamesMeister. It can be a video message if you like, in which case we will play the video message at the start of the stream. We do like a video message. We do love a video but message. But it's not necessary. But it's not necessary. If you don't want to send a video message, that's fine. And we will do our utmost to help as many of you poor gaming noobs as possible. Today, I have, in my infinite wisdom, shown Emma how to finish the Catch a Chocobo race in Final Fantasy X in under zero seconds. And now we are showing Mickey Saucepan how to fly into the sun! Yes. So that you take over they may just. know how to land on the doodad next time. Yep. <laughs> yep. Games Meister, remember human emotions do not affect us. I know, they're not. Everything that comes out of me emotion-wise is but a simulation of human emotion <laughs> so as for us to appear more approachable and authentic to the humans watching us. It's true and I am only laughing as a result of my own emotional simulation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, to make us more palatable because otherwise in our all seeing no one, want, no one wants to just tune in and see a floating bald bespectacled gaming expert emotionless, emotionlessly just doing everything in a game. No. How boring that would be. No. Here's the sun. It's in our sights. There's the doodad. <sighs> the doodad. It's in our sights. Right. Get your notebook down. Mickey saucepan. Cara Bell says, so approachable. Do you mean the sun? Think, or the Games Meister? I think they mean the Games Meister. Games Meister. Right, we've built some speed. We're going to get close. Right, we're getting to that sweet, sweetened spot for this guy. For the doodad. Here's the doodad. This looks good. It looks like you're going straight for it, Games Meister. Yes! Get on there! Yes! No! Oh, my, my lock on. That's how you don't lock on to the doodad. That's how you don't lock on. So when you get there, you want to lock on. I feel like, <sighs> Games Meister, we are about to show Mickey Saucepan how it's done for real, though. We've done a lot of... A lot of pre-flight faff. Now it's time for the real deal. Games Meister... Uh, they're saying that Games Meister looks a lot like Austin Powers, and... I, and I'm not sure how to take that. Okay, so it looks nothing like Austin Powers. Have you ever seen Austin Powers? <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> Austin Powers is a human man with a shaggy mane of hair. <laughs> Do you see any hair here? Do you see any hair? No. Oh. I feel like it is it is my it is my head growth that is getting uh, called Austin Powers and I <laughs> I can I oh, sorry I, I can see, see no it. resemblance I don't whatsoever. See it. Which Austin Powers are we talking about? Maybe Doctor Evil. Danielle Maycox, look, you're misunderstanding. You're misunderstanding the whole ethos of the game's meister. We always succeed. There is no such thing as success. There is no such thing as failure. There is only accumulated wisdom. And the wisdom we are accumulating on these streams and imparting to you is infinite in scale, okay? You cannot put a price on the tactics and the gameplay that we are showing you. But if you did, we would accept £20 notes in the post. I mean, look at this. Look at this here. Danielle. And everyone, you know, this isn't just for Mickey. This is for anyone who's having trouble landing on the doodad in the outer wilds. Right, let's get nice and level. Ooh, 
the sun's pull is strong. It is. Is what Mickey's Horseman will say. It is. And you've got to persevere. But this looks good. This, this looks great. Look at that. Here it comes. Okay, and we're going to hard turn to follow it. Oh. Oh. Yeah! No! That was the one in the background. Games Meister, that was the one in the background. A bit of singe there. Bit of singe. A bit of singe. We're Here very go, close. We're very close to doing it now, though. I can feel it. I can feel it in my floating brain. <gasps> Guess me every time. I'm so unused yeah. to hearing it because uh, I actually completed the Outer Wilds <laughs> in the first 17 minute time loop. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Yeah. But again, who would want to see that? You, you know, entertainment is also a part of what we offer. It's true. You don't want to just come on to the streams and for them to be, you know, five minutes long. Or 17 minutes in this case. No. You wouldn't want that. And this time, Mickey, with six minutes of the stream remaining, we're going to show you exactly how to fly and land on that little doodad there that you can see just going around the other side of the sun. Oh, yes. Good lock on. Reverse thrust. Good lock off. Reverse, reverse, reverse thrusters. You aren't locked on, Games Meister is why you're Yep, reversing. I know, of course, I, of course I know. That's yep. what Mickey Saucepin needs to know. Just explaining for him. Right, that's a lovely, that's a lovely meter distance, that is. It's very strong. It's sucking me in. Yeah, you can just keep on pressing your... Oh, I think it's going to keep on sucking you. It does appear to be getting increasingly orange. That would be the sun's rays. I think I've managed to do it. Oh, very nice. Yes. There, there it is. Go. There it is. I'm going to... A little twizzle. The technical term for it again. The twizzle, yeah. Okay, so now we're going to lock on to the sun. Very nice. I'm going to match the velocity of the sun. Velocity matched. Velocity matched. No gravity. No tricksy gravity sucking you in. No. It is, though, still. It's still doing it. Well, you can just keep on doing a little cross button pushback. Oh, there we go. There's the doodad. The doodad has appeared. Oh. It's another cross button pushback. Nice. Another cross button pushback. You waiting for it to come around again? Another cross button pushback. You keep matching the velocity. Very so good. So you don't get sucked in. You're I'm slowing that down. It. I'm going to wait for it to come around again. You wait. You just wait. Keep on waiting. Where is it? Oh, it's coming. Where is it? it was Mickey it was might say. It was coming. Fly away. That's that's what you gotta gotta keep on. Keep on. Keep on matching the velocity. There it is. There it is. We found it once again. I'm just going to poodle around. Another technical term. Another technical term, yeah, the poodle. That's the little, the little do, 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 on the spaceship around the side. Not getting too close to the sun, not getting too far away. You want to match the trajectory. Very I nice. Ideally, of the doodad. It's very hard to lock onto the doodad. You have to it find is. the doodad. Yeah. Up close. There's the doodad. So we're we're too far away. Yeah. Right now, far too far away. So there's there it is. So what I kinda wanna do is, is follow it from behind almost. Match the velocity again. Very nice. Now we're gonna take this slow. 
We're slowly going to inch forward. Very good, going to my stuff. The music will start to get emotional because as it knows that what is about to happen it's will be, be beautiful. unfathomably beautiful. Or tears are already in my eyes, Games Meister. Mickey Saucepan, are you ready Ooh, for the landing of your life? I know I am, Games Meister. We're matching the velocity there. Keep matching the velocity. And then we wait for the doodad. The doodad. Here comes the doodad. The doodad's coming. Okay, Games Meister, you got this. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful turn. What a beautiful pootle and swizzle. Ooh, just get that round. Slightly overshot, but that's for Mickey Saucepan's benefit. Very good, very good. Good game, Twister. Where's the doodah? Mickey Saucepan might say. There it is. There's the doodah. Are you watching, Mickey? Why won't it lock on properly? Mickey might say. <coughs> now, the stream is nearly over. But what I have done here is timed my successful landing on the doodad perfectly with the end of the stream. As always, games my What I've also done is somehow found myself in a position where the doodad is orbiting. I just get away from the sun. Oh, I said get away from the sun! That's okay. It's what Mickey Saucepan would do. You've timed that perfectly with the end of the stream. Come on then, Games Meister. Thank you. <laughs> well, Mickey Saucepan and Emma Clark. Emma Video Essay Clark. Oh, I saw that and thought that was quite a long video. It was a long What's video, a long was video? it? Goodness me. Cute dogs, though. I think we should have one more go, Games Meister. Games Meister, because, I'm already on it. Because we can and will do it. Joe Hurley says this stream has really brightened up my day. You're welcome, Joe Hurley. You're welcome. Is that from looking at the sun, Joe Hurley? No, I think they genuinely just mean it's brightened up their day with how how helpful and informative and educational it's been. Absolutely not making a joke at the Games Meister's expense. Good. At all. If they were making a joke. The wrath of Games Meister is... Swift. And brutal. Okay, get nice and close. Backing off. Backing off. Okay, right, and then. Need to turn. Come on, come past. Here's what Mickey Paul Saucepan might say. There it is! Yes, Games Meister! Ah! Oh. God, I really want some donuts. <laughs> I would love some donuts as well. No, just to finish this off. Mm. Yes. I'm going to have another So go. what we're going to do now, Gamesmeister, is go. in our infinite wisdom and power, power. is conjure one last go from the depths of our collective gaming expertise. Let's go. Up the lift. Are you ready, Mickey Saucepan? Into the blue tentacle. Into suit the suit. On. Buckled up. That's a classic. We have that down. We know that's what we need to do. Mickey Saucepan, if you haven't got that bit down, you've been taught well. Here I am. Here we are. Here the Gamesmeister is. So as usual, 
you want to lock on to the sun. We know that. We know to get into the blue tentacles. You know to get your suit on. You know to lift off and to not get hit by any roving celestial objects like the moon. Yeah. You know to lock on to the sun. And then you know to slowly, calmly and smoothly match the velocity of the sun. Yes. This bit we have down. There's the moon. There's the moon that you don't want to get hit by. Don't be hit by that. Look at that. Almost an eclipse for you there. Oof. Bonus eclipse. A beautiful space vision for you. And there it is. Courtesy of the Gamesmeister. There it is, the doodad. Velocity has been matched. Very good. Sulaya Dolly says, did Rob succeed at the cho Chocobo minigame? No, the Gamesmeister did, however, and has done previously and, and imparted... A lot of wisdom to Emma Clark so today. So much wisdom was imparted. So much. So Emma Clark, I guarantee I would like some testimonials as well in in the comments yes. from Jack or Emma Clark. And here, Mickey Saucepan. <clears throat> and I want them. Look at this. Expert work games, my sir. Look at this. Ooh. Look at this. Ooh. And we're just going to lock on. And we've locked on. That's fine. And now we can match the velocity yeah. of the doodah. This is how you do it. Velocity matched. Oh, that's lovely. See? We're going on it. Yeah. And now you land. Simple as that. Simple as that. Simple as that. Not a problem. And we've shown you all the ways it can go wrong. And now we've kept our promise and shown you how it goes right. Yes. At the end. The rest is up to you. The landing. There you go. Just that's a way it could go wrong as well. You could accidentally let go of the steering wheel. That's fine. Gentle landing. Just going to head out. If possible. Well... I think the skill on the show there, Games Master, Games Meister, was uh, admirable. It was. And uh, everyone in the chat is uh, rightfully nonplussed that we have managed to successfully land on the doodad and dive out of the ship. This is another way it could sun. go wrong for getting the <laughs> for getting the trophy, but vitals are now low. Whoa! Hey, and there now it is. You can. <laughs> you can slowly suffocate in the blackness of space. Yes. But enjoy. Enjoy that educational stream, everybody. Let it not be said that the games meister is not a meister of all games, okay? Let it not be said. Mickey Saucepan, I hope you enjoyed that. Emma Clark, Emma Video Essay Clark, I hope you enjoyed all of the wisdom imparted to you. Games Meister, thank you. Games Meister, thank you. You're welcome. And you all are welcome as well. As we have said before, please write in your requests using the hashtag Games Meister or video your requests and share them on social media in the YouTube comments. We're always on the lookout for noobs who we can educate with our collective gaming expertise. So, a big thank you to Emma Clark, a big thank you to Mickey Saucepan, and a big thank you to us, the Games Meister. Thank you. We will see you again soon. Have a lovely evening. Wave my head because we have no hands. Goodbye. Goodbye.